American Death Metal Hails with Diabolic Oath from Portland, Oregon, United States. This is MZ called I Charlatria. Don't know exactly what that means, but it's not definitely your typical death metal release name. Some people have been comparing this to death black metal names such as Titan Blood, but I'll be honest, this doesn't really resonate any kind of a black metal presence, in my opinion, but more just dark death metal. That is more akin to American names such as incantation, immolation, etc. And uh, as such, this is heavy as hell, but also very dark and kind of a cellar feeling like. By cellar, I don't mean those sad basement dwellers, but more like, okay, this is as far as from the mainstream and more towards the underground stuff as it can be. And as such, this is not your easy to access kind of a death metal, but something something different. Aishoralatrea. I don't even know how to pronounce it, not to mention what it really, really means. It's the third release by the band, or one could say second purple release after a couple of demos and all that stuff. Now, I haven't heard the previous release, their album Profane Death Exodus, so I really can't compare which way the band has been going since then. But so often these kind of MCDs that come after um, an album or so are more experimental in nature and this at least sounds like that. Uh, this is something that I need to explain so it makes at least the slightest of senses. The thing here is this sounds more like the guys are trying to do very very heavy album but more in a chaotic manner and that at the same time being very very dark and crushing. Now the downside of things is, it seems almost like it's uh, improvised a little bit too much, or at least experimenting uh, maybe a bit too much. The thing here is, a lot of drums seem to be exploring territories which are not maybe the straightforward style, or at least it's kind of a stuff you're looking for. It almost is, seems like this drummer is being a little bit erratic, and uh, while it, to some people might make a lot of sense, especially if you're coming from more war metal background, you might exactly like it because it's kind of a chaotic and uh, not your typical nicely accurately played. However, if you're a fan of drum porno like yours truly is, this might seem a little bit of a disappointment. Like instead of being strictly focused on some patterns and uh, fills and intense playing, it's all almost like hey, let's just go chaotic all the way and see how it fits. The same goes, unfortunately, a little bit for the riffs. They are very dark and they are heavy as hell, but they are not exactly very, very good. The good thing is, however, that the atmosphere on this MCD is very, very dark and very much like going down to the dungeons. Now, if you like that kind of a chaotic dungeon feeling, you probably will like Diabolic Oath quite a bit, at least this MCD, because it's very, very far from your mainstream kind of a death metal. Then again, it's almost like too much just exploring the possibilities of going chaotic and erratic and just doing something different. Now, to a people who can enjoy bands such as Incantation, for example, this might be the thing, because it's not your death and roll, it's not very much like trashy, it's quite different in terms of that. But if you're looking for some solid catchy songs, you know, think about D-side or death or obituary, this is not exactly that. So it's definitely expecting the listener to go beyond the strict atmosphere, which is, like I said, thick and dark, but also be able to embrace the rather chaotic patterns of drums where just you can feel like okay now it's going to fast do, 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 do. kind of a war metal blasting and then just slows down for a bit with the down tune kitters and kind of a mushy sound too now this could have you know benefited of taking better or more crispier and cleaner sound in terms of production i get it this is more towards the underground feeling and as such I guess it does its role very well but it kind of hurts also the songwriting and the compositions because sometimes things just get way too chaotic especially with the faster parts of drums so the sound being kind of organic or 
rehearsal room like is actually taxing the music a little bit. This is only, however, my opinion. Of course, you're free to make your own, and I, that's what I expect you people to do that. So in case I got you interested with this dark and crushing death metal and chaotic ways, you do your homework and check out the music for yourself. This has been out for a couple of months already because it was released in September 2022. But if you are not ready to embrace dark, chaotic, crushing death metal rehearsal room sound kind of a ways, I'm not going to recommend this to you. So it's definitely an acquired taste kind of MCD. Uh, that being said, not for everybody. But looking forward to hear your opinion about it, how it resonated with you, how it made you feel. Links are provided in the description box, so click and listen and read more about the band from the following links. Take care and see you soon again. More reviews coming your way.